Hi, this is Michael Trithart, International Technology Instructor, and I want to walk you through what I think is one of the most important things that you can do with your WolfNet back office as a Keller Williams agent. And what that is, is you can come into the back office of WolfNet, scroll down and look on the very bottom left hand corner where it says URL search builder and you have the ability to go in and create custom searches luxury homes certain price ranges school search uh, subdivision search condo and building search address and, and zip search do they have a pool do they not have a pool whatever amenity that you want to go for you can create all these different types of searches and then advertise those on your e-agency website. You can create niche stickiness type searches and that is a powerful thing for your potential clients that are out there. Now the fields that we can use, those are all going to be uh, dictated to you by what MLS gets from your ML, from your, or excuse me, what Wolfnet gets from your MLS. So there are certain fields that will vary from MLS to MLS. Number one, you got to set up your WolfNet account. That is all done in the back office of eAgency e through step 4.0, 4.1, right through here. Make sure it's all set up. You can see it's been set up just like this. This is an example uh, of an agent up in the MLS PIN market center. We now want to go in and I want to set up my WolfNet back office. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to run the search that I want to run. And let's say that in this case we want to do... Uh, Plano, Texas luxury homes. I'm actually using a couple different agents accounts here to kind of mix and match a little bit. Normally you would use your own account to do everything, but you're going to see a little bit of Massachusetts, a little bit of Plano, Texas, a little bit of some other stuff. But I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put in Plano. And then if I wanted to do a luxury home search, I can come over and say, I want everything from 500 to a maximum and the maximum will just will max it all the way out at uh, 10 million. And if I say, okay, that's what I want. If I come up here and I look at my URL string, it's showing me right here that the minimum price is 500,000, maximum is 10, Plano is the city. It found 794 listings that match those results. And I could run that search to see and, and verify that everything is right. If I click on that, Give it a couple seconds, you'll see that it comes up. It's showing me that everything is correct, so that's all good. But notice that this is not framed in on the website. We want to frame it in on your e-agency website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this information right here. I'm going to then go back out to a Word file that I've opened previous, previously, and I'm going to paste it right here. So there's that search. For me to frame it in, I have to add this code modified to the end of the string. Now where you get this code right here, it's located on michaeltredhart.com. Scroll down, go to where it says e-agency. Click on frame in IDX link for WolfNet. Copy it paste it back out here and since we're using Brandon Watkins' website we went out to Brandon's site just a little bit ago and we pulled it up I'll pull it up again one more time and I found his URL I just came down here and clicked on that link and I copied his URL his bwatkins.yourkdbagent.com so if you have a domain name already going to your e-agency site and it's already been set up with a C name we don't necessarily want that name we want the back office name. We want the, the dot your KDB agent dot com address for your e-agency site. So we copy that. And then if I come back over into my Word file, I went ahead and pasted it right here. And all we're going to do is we're going to take this piece, add it to the end, and then see where you see the, the generic set of letters and numbers. We're going to go in and change that to Brandon's. URL. So that's B Watkins. So we're going to take that and put it right in there. You don't have to worry about the size. If you want to change the size to make it all uniform, that's completely fine. You can do that. But now what that is, that is a search for Plano, Texas that will stay framed in on his website. And if you want to verify that, all you got to do is copy it, open up a new window, 
paste it in there, do a search, and you see now that that search for Plano Luxury Homes is framed in on Brandon's website. It's always had the lead capture. It just now has the element of his site being framed around it. So the end result can look like something like this. This is Rick Hurd out of uh, North Carolina. And what he did is on step 1.5 of his e-agency site, he went in and had an image like this cut up into four pieces. And one of those blocks became the luxury home search. And we, when we click on the luxury home search, that's going to take us to his URL search builder that he ran for luxury homes. It's going to stay framed in on his website. So it's going to have the look that he wants. It always had the lead capture, but now it's going to have the look. So all we did was we came over to URL search builder, ran a search, copied it, put it out, out onto a word page, copied the code that I provided off of michaeltreadhart.com, and then changed that code to reflect the actual name for the e-agency website. And once you do something like that, you can save it right over here. You can hit save and save these searches. But you can also then go in and do luxury homes. You can do subdivision searches, schools. I mean, whatever uh, WolfNet is able to do, whatever your MLS allows them to do, you can set up these custom searches. This is a huge, huge customer service value opposition or uh, item, that, not opposition, but item that you can add to your site. And it's going to be great for SEO. It's going to be great for stickiness. Consumers are going to love it. Take the time to go in and set it all up. I think this video will help you uh, answer a lot of the questions that you may have about it. But if there are other questions that come up after this video, feel free to email me and I'll be happy to walk you through how to get all of this set up. Have a great day.